Hello, welcome to Dwaba Does, a channel where Dwaba, me, does things, and this week is the first week of the month, which means I have to do something cultural. And this week I will be doing a digital painting, and the subject is a pirate from One Piece, an anime that I really love. And this pirate is the heart pirate, not Trafalgar Law, but Corazon. And why? Because it's his birthday! Yes, anime characters have actual birthdays. So if you've been following my Tumblr and DeviantArt um, accounts, you'll know that I've just started getting into digital painting recently. This is one of the paintings I've done, um, and it's of Trafalgar Law, a heart pirate from, a pirate from One Piece with Gara, uh, Ninja from Naruto. And they, these two have very similar backgrounds, and I, Gara is my favorite character. Surprisingly, you would think that Law is my favorite character because I'm about to feature him in another painting, but no, my favorite character of One Piece is, not gonna lie, it's Sanji. It used to be Zoro, but now it's Sanji, just because he's kind of cool. And this is the year of the Sanji, so I'm totally jumping on the bandwagon here, but that is not the point. We need to move on to my actual painting for today, which is, again, a tribute to Corazon. This is the scene I chose because it is one of my favorite scenes. This is when Law first calls Corazon Corazon, like a sign of respect, and his face is just priceless because it's like, what did you just call me? So this is the painting I chose. This is the base. I got a screenshot from it, of it from the manga. So this is the base and I've already done some preparations for it. For example, I've already prepped the outline so I can color on it. And I've also got references. I like to use figurines as references rather than actual things for the manga just because it seems more real because you know figures are made printed in painted and made in real life so that I can do that so I already got my color palette I watch a lot of different YouTube videos and tutorials for my digital painting styles so this is one way of painting it which is kind of freestyle um as you can see I didn't really have a, I didn't use a manga as a background or something like that I kind of just eyeballed it um, but this one is directly from the manga, so it's much more of a coloring in, which is very therapeutic. So let's, this. let's start with Law, just because he has less colors. Right here, so this is the lighter skin tone. I want to use that. I'm going to choose my oil brush. And I am using that brush, and I got that from DeviantArt, and I can also link you guys to that if you guys want to use that brush for Photoshop. So I'm just going to be very loosely painting in Law's skin. Don't need to worry about messiness. Need to be able to consult the color palette. There we go. So the light, I'm going to say, is from up here in this corner, shining down. So this shading. different ways to paint. You can either draw it yourself and make a line art, or you can do what I do, which is grab screen grab off the base of the manga and color that in. Um, it's really up to you and it's a bit depending on your skill set. I am not quite there yet to um, draw out anything by hand. I'm not that, I can't freehand draw an anime style. I mean, if you want to see me drawing something in anime, this is me. This is a self-portrait I drew recently of me painting. So. As you can see, my anime skills of drawing is not quite there, so that's why I like to tend to use like a base. Um, if you go on DeviantArt, there's a lot of line arts that you can use as bases to color that in. A lot of artists on DeviantArt have line bases that you take. You just have to credit them in your artwork and let people know this is where you got the line art from. So you can start from that. clean it is now. So much cleaner. Now that we have that done, now it's moving on to core zone. Um, we're going to start with the skin.
we have to do the coat. Now I'm actually gonna turn off all these other layers just so I can focus on where the outline is for the coat, his feathery, feathery coat. I'm actually going to make a mask for this just because this part is harder to color in than I assumed. And I'm gonna take that, choose just a random color. a rough mask of his coat. Like that, and create a new layer of coat. Alt click it, so we can use the mask, and now I'm going to start to color. See? Now I don't have to worry about the lines and the cleanliness. Full disclosure guys, I, in the middle of recording all of this, my camera stopped working so I couldn't record my self reacting and talking through all these points. So now you get to see a self portrait me talking to you guys. Um, well, I had to actually do a lot of finishing touches. I had to go back and re shade a little bit of law because I the way I shade I, the way I shaded him previously made him look like he had a five o'clock shadow. Anyways I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below to let me know what you guys think or even if you are, do watch anime or anything like that what your favorite character is it is. If you watch One Piece let me know. Yeah and then I'll see you guys next week where I do something food related. Thanks guys.